Hey family, welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So today we're going to talk about why sex changes things in the dating or courtship phase. Stay tuned right after this. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back. So before I answer this question, I will say to definitely go ahead and check out my online courses for all of you ladies out there. So the first course out there is for my ladies who are super single. This is the ladies who are just, you want to get back into the dating phase. There are no prospects in sight. You just kind of need some help to work on yourself, get rid of that baggage just to help out, honey. That is going to give you a step-by-step -step plan in order to work on your self so you know exactly who you are what you want what you desire as a person first and then also from your relationship the second course is for anybody out there in the dating stages you need some help navigating through the dating stages you are just sick and tired of dating in the hopes that everything is just going to work out that you will be chosen this is absolutely going to help you with your plan as well to Get through the dating stages, block, 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 block all of the guys out there that are trying to waste your time so you can make room for the guy that truly wants you. The third course is for any of you ladies that are in long-term relationships or in marriages and you need some spice to be brought back into your relationship. You need to feel those butterflies coming back and you just want to feel sexy. You want to love it when your spouse goes but have that tug of war because you want them to come back because you want to be in their presence and you want them in your presence so definitely go ahead check out my three online courses the perspective course for you all of them are in the description box below so go ahead and click the perspective link purchase the course and help with the movement here at i love me 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 okay so without further ado i have four reasons why sex changes things while you are in the dating and courtship phase. So the first one is often the emotional connection starts to fizzle out and actually it stops the growth process or the growth of the emotional process because good sex was introduced and now that is your main focus. You're not worried about growing with this person emotionally now because sex has now been introduced and this is good. This is what I am now focusing on. Second reason why sex affects the dating and courtship phase is that when you do not know your date really well and you guys have not spent significant time together, that you misunderstand or misread the cues that they are sending out. And so you struggle to understand them, okay? And you also can misread what they're actually sending to you and vice versa. It's that whole struggle point because now sex has been introduced, but you ain't spent no time with this person. You have no idea what's going on with this person. And again, the only thing that you're really focused on is getting back in the sack the next time that you are with them. You're not growing any more together. Third thing is that you guys might have different intentions despite the fact that you guys are sexually attracted to each other. What are your intentions? What is your date intention for the two of you? Where do they want this to go? And I get it, this is early on, but they have to have a plan. And the plan does not have to be inclusive of you per se, but I do have to know what you're thinking. What's all up in here? Are you thinking about making me your girlfriend? Are you thinking about you know engagement marriage moving the relationship forward again the plan doesn't have to be specific to me but i have to know that you have a plan before sex gets involved or should get involved the fourth and final reason which is the biggest reason is that we all know that sex actually clouds your judgment it gets in the way of you making healthy decisions especially when it comes to choosing your partner your mate when you introduce sex too early that is all you are trying to get at and do each time you see this person and then by that time you guys have already created this relationship with one another and then you're wondering why you're, you, you guys aren't meshing well you're arguing all the time you're cussing and fighting 
Some people are literally fighting with each other and not just verbally fighting with each other, but that could be just as bad. So as much as possible, hold off on sex. Make it a point to truly get to know the person that you are dealing with. Get the emotional connection, the ties, the bond as much as possible before you guys jump into the sack, especially if the sex is good. That is absolutely all you're going to be caring about for a period of time. And you're going to be in that rose colored glasses stage for a while. And by the time you get out of that stage, maybe a year has already gone by and it's basically wasted time because the only thing you guys do well together is have sex. All right, fam, so let me know what you thought about this video, the four tips. Is there something else that I could have addressed in this video? Of course, let me know down in the comment section below. You know, you guys know that I love to read your comments and, of course, to continue the conversation. Absolutely. Okay, I will see you guys in a different video. Of course, if you'd like to give me thumbs up, share it with the people that you know need to hear this. And if you are not following me on my social media, all of those links are down in the description box below. Think about subscribing as well because here at I Love Me Me Me, I'm supplying you guys with all of the tips and tools in order to have happy, healthy, romantic relationships so we can collectively decrease the divorce rate while simultaneously increasing the marriage rate. I love you guys. There's nothing that you can do about it. Mwah!